Hello, happy Saturday to you. I'm going to begin with a Taurus read. Please subscribe to the channel. That way it is easier for me to connect with your energy. Taurus. Join us tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central Time. Members and 1.45 Central Time for Open Door. Everyone welcome to the live stream. Go ahead to the community tab and practice. You can see the link there. Go ahead and press it. You can't do anything wrong. That way you'll know where to go tomorrow. Okay. Really? Of course. Okay. Thank you. One more time. Absolutely. Thank you. Taurus. Taurus, come through. A oh, four of wands. <laughs> and the star card. Absolutely. My Syrian energy of the moon. Aquarius. Yeah, someone has been working hard on a new domicile. Um, I see someone bought a home. They're working on the home. Um, they're looking at apartments. They're increasing the um, quality of life through their environment. They, it's it's like they're 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 fulfilling a wish, a dream, a hope. Uh, what people don't know about this connection is that someone here, if not both people in this connection, have experienced home insecurity as well as house insecurity. We'll talk about that more with um, the clarification. The devil in reverse. The devil has been tamed. I'm feeling, uh, I'll tell you more about that in the, in the clarifications, but um, someone has a, a very strong jealous streak. Jealous streak. Queen of Wands in the middle of your reading. <laughs> She's going to stand up. She's very direct. She is a great manifester. Very direct. She'll stand up and say, you know what? Um, I pick you. You're the one I have chosen. You're the one that I want. Ooh, 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 honey. Someone's letting down the burden of having, having home insecurity. They're letting this burden down. And from the Queen of Wands to the King of Wands. This is someone who is very good at blueprints, reading blueprints. He's a leader. He is able to um, look at a, a great map and, and decide the direction, the correct route, which is important in this connection. How do we get from here to there safely and with our sanity intact? Yeah, there's two of swords. You do have an option. Someone has, a, well, I, I feel like it's you, Taurus. You have an option. You are protecting your heart, but you are ready. You're ready and able to sit. You want to wait and see what the next step is. And we have this beautiful, the fool. Beautiful. At the bottom of the tarot deck, we have two of wands. I love it. They're ready to give you the world. I'm asking for clarification for Taurus. Clarification for Taurus. Wonderful. Things are on the move. 2023 is your year, Taurus. All the things you've been through. 2022, a bit of, a little bit of poo-poo, but 2023 is meant for ye. Thank you. Please come through. So let's explain a little bit more of this Four of Wands. Yeah, Four of Swords. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, someone has been in protective mode. That's why I said Four of Swords. Four of Wands. Why? Because there is enough love here to, to fill any great mansion. Someone is bringing forth. It's almost as if this environment is being created through the love. This Virgo energy of the Hermit. Well, I just mentioned Four of Swords. That's very much the protective. I need to go within. I need to decide. I need to understand more about what it is. When I tell you that someone has experienced home and house insecurity, I need you to understand that um, <clears throat> the traumas that happen in childhood, we carry with us into our adult life. So if you didn't feel at home in your home as a child, you carry these 
experiences and feelings with you and then you you have almost like a mantra um but having gone into the dark soul the dark night of the soul thank you um someone has understood more of why they feel this way and that's why this bottleneck is opening up the queen of pentacles yes she's here to make sure just like we were saying before everyone is going to have a seat Everyone is going to have a place, a room in this house. You're not going to feel like a stranger in your own house. Wow. Yeah, this has been a hope, wish, and dream. Um, someone does need parity. This is equal attention and affection given. So it's one thing to have to have someone's attention, but you also need that those verbal affection. You want that extra support. You need that. You need to hear the word. There we go. Eight of Wands, the communication. You need that communication. Someone is not really good with their words, but they have been practicing this yeah, because they know you are the Two of Cups right next to the Ten of Cups. I love it. This is... I see, if you see in the in the background, I'm drawn right away to the, the landscaping. Um, someone is even paying attention. If we see the, yeah, the King of Wands. Someone is even paying attention to the minutiae, the fine details of the home. What is surrounding the home? Is the landscaping well well done? How nice. The, the Piscean energy of the moon, it's the other part of this um, equation that someone has uncovered about themselves and has come to terms with i will tell you that energy cannot move forward until all all things are uncovered all things are being um dealt with directly as directly as the queen of wands call it what it is i feel insecure about my home so now this person has gone through all of these paces and changes and a new world is coming forward. How beautiful. It's as if this chapter has ended about insecurity. It's ended. A new world, a new chapter has begun. We have the fixed signs of Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, and Taurus. Those are very, very necessary um, as fixed signs because... Yeah, I do feel like, I really feel like there's perhaps two Taurus in this connection. That would make a lot of sense, especially considering all of the environment and um, home, those things such as uh, nature, the nature that I feel coming forward. A new chapter is beginning. And thank goodness, it's time for celebration, isn't it? And, ju and it's time for justice. We're going to have all of that. It's time for justice. Time to live as burned down. It's time to take that leap of faith. It's time. When I tell you that 2023 is going to be your year, Taurus, you can take that to the bank. Um, someone has dealt with, look at, right underneath the hermit, the Virgo energy is the devil in reverse. Someone has dealt with, has tamed the devil of feelings of low self-esteem, feelings of not belonging. Um, with the Pisirian energy, I hear someone saying, how is it that I can feel like a stranger in my own family? Um, that imprint has informed a lot of um, someone's future. And they have gone into that. And I feel like they have every right in the world to know that it's a new world for them. Death and rebirth absolutely so it's taken a lot that's why this is a, this is not a quick process this is a slow process because it has to be done correctly death and rebirth is on the way temperance made new because and made strong because of all the things you've been through um it's been said to um to be happy for your mm, challenges because they make you a stronger person that's Keys saying that to me in Latin, I don't understand. But be happy for your challenges because it makes you stronger. Nishki would say that which doesn't kill us makes us stronger. 
Yeah, to this point of, you know what, um, are you sure you don't want something else? And look at the person. They have their arms folded in front of their chest. No, I know what I want. I want Taurus. I want my I want my Taurus. And that's the Queen of Wands. She is able to stand up and point and give the sunflower to the person. She, I want my Taurus. I'm not interested in anyone else. No, everyone else can go kick rocks. This is Love Ascension. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm supposed to acknowledge part of the um part of the challenges is that someone has been ghosted for quite a while. Um because and I'll tell you why, your person was was working on themselves. Your person was working on themselves, so they had to they had to take care of this journey. They had to walk this journey by themselves. So they had to, you, you did feel shut out, but just as coming your way, that Libra energy is here. Judgment, second chances, third chances. It is love ascension. And all these things are made possible because of the hanged man perspective. Not just seeing life from a different perspective, Seeing life, see the world over there, seeing life from a new perspective. All things have changed. All things are made possible because of having gone deep within and released these burdens for my Hierophant. This person is so in love with you. You are on their mind 24-7. Everything that they have done, every every piece of energy that they have have ex expended expended is that what you're saying everything they have done has been to come towards you this energy is now on the move the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor dear hierophant dear taurus right king of wands we do need his leadership we do need someone who's able to look at a big map and say okay i see the route yeah, and Ace of Swords. With this Ace of Swords, you're going to be able to see how the there's like shrubbery hanging off the sword. It's almost going to be used as machete to cut through the dead, um, tangled weeds that have hidden the path. And King of Pentacles. going to make sure everyone not only has a, a place in the home but the home is able to pay the bills the home has sustainability there's a budget there is safety i'm going to make sure that you are always feeling safe here king of pentacles thank you page of cups yeah someone has a plan stan if someone has been um practicing in the mirror someone has been um trying out different outfits trying on um how am i going to approach my hierophant you see you can't just come towards the hierophant unannounced you have to make an appointment you have to come correctly they know this they are going to come correctly and you are willing to wait you're willing to wait however check it out you have two swords crossed in front of your heart you're not going to allow anyone to hurt you, but I don't think you have anything to worry about. This Knight of Wands is just on their way. They have something very, very flirtatious to tell you. Someone has some real... <laughs> Someone really likes the way you look. Someone really... They've, they've turned their world upside down to do this, by the way. Someone has really... I see someone who is very um, looked up to, perhaps a celebrity, someone who is a mover and a shaker. Someone is really turning, turning their world upside down to get this message to you because, yeah, the two of you have, have manifested each other even before you've entered this earthly plane. You have had several lives together. That's why the two of you feel at home, at home with each other. This leap of faith 
it's for both of you. Both of you are going to take that leap of faith. No longer, no longer are we going to be in that worry, um, worrisome, how is, how is this going to happen? How is it going to work out? We have the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles here to help with that. Thank goodness. Yeah, uh, from the Nine of Swords to the Eight of Swords. And any kind of prison that has been um, self-inflicted is going to fall away. It needs to. And no more conflict. No more conflict. Um, of course, Five of Wands, you know this to be someone who has like conflicting thoughts, maybe even people around them with negative energy. Um, someone is taking great pains to remove uh, people around them who have negative energy. Informing, framing the energy of this whole read is our beautiful, lovely Two of Wands. I love it. Look at what do they have to offer you? Oh, not much. The world the world they're they're waiting for you they're holding on to their new self their old self it's still there but they're not stand they're not letting their old world support them they are not letting the the stuff of their past um, inform who they are going to be tomorrow this is no small feat they should be congratulated they should be um, given a lot of credit for going through the dark night of the soul, which is so terrifying. You find out so many things about yourself you didn't even know. So we will have compassion. We will have patience. We will understand everything that was given up and um, keep our manifestations always pure. Beautiful, Taurus, I'm so happy for you. 2023, here we come. Um, I've been, um, I, I, I just have to say, I'm so proud of you guys. I'm so proud of, of your, um, your compassion and your, um, your intuition that you're honing and, and becoming more um, in, in aligned with, in tuned. I hope to see you tomorrow and please take good care of yourselves. Okay, bye-bye.